what is DevOps. In this video, you will learn what it is, which tools you need to know to become a DevOps engineer. So which responsibility and tasks that a DevOps engineer must know? Firstly, you should know that DevOps is an abbreviation of development and operation. Development is a stage where developers write the application and test it. Operation part is when the application is deployed and maintained on a server, maybe a cloud or a dedicated server. DevOps is a link between the two above parts. So let's dive into the detail to really understand what DevOps really do. Software development refers to a set of computer science activity dedicated to this process of designing, coding, testing software application. Firstly, the developer or development team start writing the application with any technology with different programming languages like Java, C Sharp, PHP, Golang, Butoon, and etc. The application code is stored in the repository like Git, SVN, etc. Now, you and a DevOps engineer will not program the software application, but you need to know the concepts of how the application works. You must also know the software configurations like database, like web services, and automation tests, so on and so forth. Now, the application is finished. Pass all the test case and need to be deployed in the server. Then, the user or customer can use it. That's why we need to deploy it. We also need an infrastructure on-premise servers or cloud servers. These servers need to be created and config to run and this is your responsibilities. If your servers run Linux operating system, you need knowledge of Linux and you must familiar with common line interface or CLI. Common line interface includes some commands to install or update different packages and software. You also understand Linux file system, how to manage a server, how to connect remotely with Linux server with secure cell. You also have knowledge of networking and security, for example, config file world to secure your application, but you must know how to open some port to make the application accessible outside. You need to know that what is IP address and how IP address and domain name service or DNS work. Maybe some network administrator or security engineer has worked with uh, this task. So nowadays, container has become the new standard and your applications are container on a server. It means that you generally know concepts of virtualization, containers, and also be able to manage containerized applications. One of the most popular containerized technology today is Docker. Many developers know and use it. The question now is, when your app is run, Facebook, everything is okay, your local machine, and how to take it? from development team to server to make usable for end user and user here maybe customer how to release the latest version to your customers that was the main task of DevOps engineer we do it continuously CI CD in an automated way after the application is done and all bugs are fixed we need to run test seal test case and package the application for example, with Java application, we have zip file, we have Java file, etc. We do this by using Butoon or package manager tool like Maven, Rattle for Java application, NPM or Node package manager for JavaScript application. You must understand the process of packaging, testing application using container standard. You can view Docker images from your application. This image is saved to an image repository like docker hub or nexus you do not want to do this manually instead you want a pipeline to do every step in a sequence way let's use Jenkins. you need to connect Jenkins with git repository this is a part of a continuous integration process when your code pushed to repository is continuously tested then it is built and packaged to the deployment server. The next step in this pipeline is to send notification to the development team about the pipeline state or handling failed deployments, etc. This flow uh, represents the core concept of CI CD pipeline, and the CI CD is a heart of DevOps tasks and responsibilities. 
This is an infinite circle. Your application will uh, update new version. New feature fit more bugs. Nowadays, many companies are using cloud server instead of creating their own physical infrastructure. This is called infrastructure as a service. Like Amazon Web Service, Google Cloud Platform, Microsoft Azure, it helps you minimize your cost, support some services like load balancing, clustering, and securities. But many of these features and services are platform specific, so you need to learn how to manage it. For example, the Amazon Web Service has many services, but you do not learn own, only focus on which your company requires or need. Your company application is built with Docker images and containers. It needs to be managed by using Docker Compose or Docker Swarm. But if you have many more containers or big microservices, you need more powerful container orchestration tool like Kubernetes cluster. You need to learn how to manage port, container, grid deployment, etc. If you have thousands of containers running in Kubernetes or many servers, can you track your traffic, specific application performance, how to check? whether the system is running smoothly, how many problems in your system, etc. So, your DevOps task now is to monitor all running applications in real time. Some Kubernetes cluster tools are Prometheus and Nagus. We will talk about detail in another video. Now, we talk about infrastructure as code. You have your application which is in development. We want to deploy it to production environment, but you have more than one environment in development. This process takes time to consume and may have error. My solution here is to automate this process by writing code. There are two main steps. Step one is to create infrastructure with tools like Terraform. It is infrastructure provisioning tool. Step two is to config, run, and deploy your application in production environment. The tool here may be Ansible, Puppet, Chef, but you should only know one of these tools. Sometimes as a DevOps engineer, your manager asks you to backing up data to do system monitoring, run job, so on and so forth. You need to know scripting language to do that automatically, like PowerShell for Linux, uh, PowerShell for Windows, Python or Ruby or Golang, etc. Python has many libraries, we can work with many databases. Finally, how to manage your code. Very easy. Let's use Git repository like GitHub, GitLab. So many things to learn as a DevOps engineer. This video shows you an overview of DevOps and which tasks a DevOps engineer should do. From that, you choose which technology tools to learn to meet your company requirements. Okay, thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, Please subscribe, leave comments below to activate me, make more exciting videos.